Morning guys. I just got up. It's about uh, 7 o'clock. Right after 7 o'clock. And I thought what I'd do today is um, show you my morning routine. I have quite an extensive morning routine um, because I'm self-employed and I'm into health and all that sort of fun stuff. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk you through everything I do from literally the moment I've gotten up to, um, to when I get into my normal work day. So first thing I do obviously is take off all the sleep accessories and uh, as soon as I wake up, I use this Geotherm thermometer and I, uh, I take my temperature every morning. If you don't know why I do that, I'll put a link uh, to my article on why it's important to take your temperature every morning. So that's the very first thing I do as soon as I get up. Travel. I hope you enjoy following me around while I um, show you my morning routine. Alright, so next thing I do in the morning is um, take my aura ring off and set it on the charger and then sync it up. So my aura rings are always in um, airplane mode, so I can't uh, access the data until I charge it. And while I'm in the uh, bathroom, I also put on some deodorant. Use the Primal Pit Bay stuff. Been using this for about five, six years. It's good. Alright, so while that's charging, I now take my morning herb. So I take two things. Uh, Mike Mailer's Aggressive Strength Testosterone Booster and Step 1 of Qualia. Alright, so next I do my morning light therapy session, which is using the Juve behind me and also my uh, Human Charger, which is the little device that shoots white light into your ears. I've written about the importance of morning sunlight and morning light exposure. I'll link to the article if you haven't read that article before. And uh, I usually just sort of duck outside for a few moments in the morning, um, but it is a bit cloudy and gray this morning. So that's when I rely on technology. But um, as you'll see soon, I do go for a morning walk. And I figured while I've got this device, um, I might as well use it. And I just let do a full full cycle on there. I think it's 12 minutes. All right, so all that's set up. Now we get into the uh, red light time. I've got the Juve red light panel, and then I've also got this handheld one. So I do a mixed protocol where I do um, where I do about five six minutes on each target area that I want to hit. Uh, sometimes I'll do a bit longer, but uh, up to 10 minutes. But I've explained all this in the other videos and reviews and whatnot, so I'll link to that below. This will take me about 20 minutes. Alright, so the red light and the white light therapy are all done. Now what I'm going to do is my morning stretches. So I do do little mobility drills and then um, some Turkish get up. And I do this every day. All right, so that's my red light therapy stretches uh, all done. Now what I do is uh, I'm about to go for a walk, but before I do that, I mix up a little cocktail with creatine, baking soda, a little bit of ketone for sigmatic mushrooms. So I'll make that up now. Now walk time, uh, but before I go, there's something else. I take my aura ring off the charger and also check my data on my uh, phone. Ring is complete, charging is complete. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna quickly check my score and then also turn my ring back into airplane mode. So what do we got here? 92% deep uh, sleep score, 90% readiness score. Sleep's trending up. So I'll just have a quick look at this. Uh, readiness is really good. HRV 95, nice. Sleep, 92%. Uh, 
not the greatest numbers. 13% deep sleep. Only 4% awake though. That's good. Nearly 9 hours of sleep. So that's that's good. That's good data. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll turn this back into airplane mode. So then the rings not transmitting throughout, throughout the day. You also notice that uh, my phone's in airplane mode. I'll just turn Bluetooth off now. It's in airplane mode. So I leave it in airplane mode all morning. I don't turn it out of, I don't turn airplane mode off until I've done all my routine and I'm, I'm ready to start the day. And I do that because I know the moment I turn it off airplane mode, a text message will come through or a phone call will come through. If I'm in airplane mode, I can't do any of that. I'm, I'm disconnected from the world. It's just my time. All right, it's my time to do my routine, my stretches, um, my walk and, and all these things without interference. So anyway, I'm going to go off and do my walk now. I do listen to a podcast some mornings on the walk and uh, so I've actually just downloaded a bunch of podcasts on my phone. So even though here I am saying it's in airplane mode, if you're wondering, oh he's listening to a podcast, he's, he's a bit of a hypocrite, it's not true. I um, download the podcast to my phone so I can walk and listen without having to be online. So anyway, let's go. Back from the walk, uh, nearly all done, but what I do now is I go water the plants, both outside and inside. Um, but as it's raining, I'm not going to spend too much time watering the plants outside. Uh, we'll just go out there for, for a quick barefoot grounding session and a quick check up on the garden. Then we will water the plants inside and then I'll uh, sit down to Make my breakfast. All right, so it's smoothie and supplement time. Uh, supplements, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I've got my daily supplement intake here. I've got CoQ10, vitamin C, thyroid, probiotics, zinc. Uh, yeah, I've done videos and articles on supplements in the past, so just check that out on YouTube or at alexfergus.com. You can read my articles. Um, sometimes I might have coffee, sometimes smoothies yeah just mix it up check out some of the early authentic Alex vlogs I think I've even done a dedicated video to smoothies plus I have a pretty detailed article at alexfigures.com which is something like uh, coach approved healthy breakfast options and I, I list off quick and easy breakfast options so pretty much I just cycle through those so um you know I'll, I'll use raw milk uh, Great Lakes collagen uh, egg yolks uh, I've been using this lately bilberry organic bilberry powder um, sometimes I put chocolate in there, cinnamon, ginger, salt, um, all sorts. I just mix it up. So check out those articles and videos for more of my smoothies. I've got two last things before I switch my phone off airplane mode and um, get started into my work for the day. Bit of a morning journal, morning gratitude uh, journal followed by my day plan. So, when it comes to my morning journal, again, I, I do this routine every weekday, sometimes on a Saturday and sometimes on a Sunday. At least five days out of, out of seven, I'll do this morning journal. So, I'll put a link to this in the notes below, as well as all these supplements and you know tools and accessories I use. Make sure you head to alexfergus.com because I'm gonna do a big write-up of this. Uh, Morning routine. Okay, this five minute journal is really simple. I have a nice little quote at the top. Then you write down three things you're grateful for. You know, so I could say, I'm grateful for having a roof over my head as it's raining today. I'm grateful to have the smoothie, organic smoothie. Um, you know, I'm grateful for a sleep in this morning. Um, what would make today great? And these are things that you can control. So, you know, I need to do some video in today, so I'll get the video in done before midday. I want to train today, so I'll have a solid training session. You know, things like that. Daily aff affirmations. You know, I am a likable. Uh, I don't know. You come up with something that that means a lot to you, and then uh, in the evening before bed, you come back and review it. Three amazing things that happened today. You know, I got all my work done. Uh, I had time to relax, and then how could I make today even better? I actually don't like this. I feel like it it ends the day on a bit of a negative. Um, so sometimes I'll skip that. But anyway, that's a five minute journal. 
But what I've been doing lately, uh, since I've got a bit more time, is I've been doing a more detailed journal in this, which is just a blank notebook. But what I'm doing is I'm following the protocol in this book, 59 seconds. So the idea is, every morning there's a theme. So Monday, Thanksgiving, you know, you'll write um, some things you've been grateful for, similar to what you were do I was doing in the five minute journal, but with a lot more detail. Um, Tuesday, terrific time, so you think back to a memory, uh, experience and you relive it, you know, share how you felt. Wednesday, oh, Wednesday future, fantastic. So this is like, you know, you put yourself a year and 10 years, five years, whatever, a week, uh, head into the future and you write about, you know, all the things you've achieved and how you're feeling. Thursday, dear someone, uh, this is where you write a letter, a short letter, describing how much you care for them and the impact they've had on your health, on your life, sorry. And then Friday, uh, reviewing, reviewing the situation. Think back over the week, make a note of th three things that went really well. So that's what I've been doing lately, and I like that. I mean, it's the five minute journal can get a bit repetitive, um, whereas this really differentiates it, but you take a deeper dive into each topic, and it's similar, the things are similar, because they're both, they're both put together based on like solid science, you know, that being grateful, reviewing, um, reliving past experiences, um, thanking people that have helped you in your life, you know, doing all that stuff has a powerful impact on you know happiness and wellness. So I alternate between the two. Um, five minute journal when I'm short on time, the 59 seconds protocol when I've got a bit more time to write. What's today? Thursday? So it's dear someone, write a letter to someone. And this is all private stuff, you know, I, no one needs to read this. Um, so I'm gonna go do that now. might sit down and read for a while like if I haven't been reading much lately I'll jump into my reading room and read a chapter or so, or so just so I can progress through a book. The last thing I do is my day plan. I use a product productivity planner. Um, you don't actually have to buy this I mean it's the same like the five minute journal it's the same thing over and over again. This is made by the same people as the five minute journal. You have the date, another quote, and then you list tasks. So the most important task of the day. If there's only one thing you do during the day, um, you know, write it here. Okay, so maybe for me today it's like, I don't know, write an article day. So that would be the first task. And then if you're using the Pomodoro technique, which is what I do and I like, you know, you'll say, all right, I think it's going to take me five Pomodoros. And then you use the Pomodoro technique and take it off. But anyway, I'm not getting into that today because I've done other videos on it. So. Oh, that's what I do. I do my day planning and then I have a list uh, which I'll then action throughout my day. When I'm doing that planning, if there is really one important task that I need to get done, um, sometimes I'll do that before I switch on my phone or like my computer because I know what will happen. The minute I turn on my phone, I'll check my emails or I'll check my notifications and there'll be a fire I have to put out or, the, or there'll be something, you know, like that will just be on my mind, right? And I'll be like, ah, oh, and I won't be able to get into work. So, highly recommend uh, focusing on that one important task and trying to do it before you do connect to the world. Yeah, so that's my morning routine. I know it's quite long and lengthy, but I've been doing it for so long now, like I get quite efficient at it, you know, it's just step by step. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did learn something from this, um, let me know. Leave a comment saying it was great or, you know, thumbs up or share it on Facebook or something. If you have your own routine, please share it below. Like I'd love to have a bunch of comments below where everyone lists their routine and hopefully we can learn from each other. If you have any questions about why I do things or like recipes or, you know, the exact protocols, uh, just shoot me a comment in the comment section. I'm happy to share that. Again, head over to alexfergus.com. I'll leave all the notes, all the supplements I use, all the devices, uh, and I'll do a full breakdown, you know, minute by minute breakdown of what I do. If you are, this is on YouTube, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to go and start doing some work now.